wisdom guidance, please keep sending it through. We're going to do a little question of the day now. Question of the day. If my finances got reset to zero, what would I do? What were the action steps that I would do? By the way, I want to mention something about this. If you have a fear of failure and it's hindering you from taking action and taking risks, calculated risks, and following your dreams and pursuing what's inspiring to you, then what you want to do is plan out a worst case scenario. Plan out a you fail, you lose, you get bankrupted, you go to zero. What do you do? And keep clarifying that plan until you come up with a plan that's really inspiring to you. A plan that even if you fail, you would love to do that. A plan that when you've got no money, you pop out of bed in the morning and you say, fuck yeah, I got no money, I got a blank slate, I got nothing to lose and I'm gonna do this because I love doing it. And if you really think it through and it's a real plan, what it will do is it'll neutralize that fear of failure. Because you realize, you know what, even if I fail, I'm gonna be inspired doing this because I love this. Always, always, always remember, philia and phobia are entangled. Phobia means fear, philia means infatuation. You only have fear if you infatuate with something. So if you infatuate with your house and with your money and with your life and with your car and with your job and you're attached to it and you identify with it and you, you have a fear of losing it. And many, many, many people have this. They got all the money and all the houses and all the cars and they got the fucking money. But they're deathly afraid of losing it and they're attached to it. Those individuals have empowered their senses. They have attained earthly success. Success in the physical plane. But they haven't yet attained spiritual success. They haven't yet empowered their soul. And there are individuals who have it the other way around. Very enlightened cats. But they're fucking poorly and they haven't got their shit together in the physical. So my mission, my message, my purpose here on the planet is to help people attain empowerment of the soul and empowerment of the senses. I hope that comes through in my messages. I hope you see in my teachings, specifically the financial teachings, that I'm not promoting hustle, grind, claw, compete, scratch your way to success and be dilapidated and wreck your body and wreck the planet and wreck other people and take advantage of other people to attain success. You don't need to do that. You can, you can have both. No. So to answer the initial question, what I would do if my finances reset to zero, I would firstly break through any resentment that I had about the reason why they fell to zero. And I would work night and day on my perceptions until I was grounded and balanced and poised and grateful for exactly what happened, the way it happened, when it happened. Because I know that if I'm poisoned by emotion and poisoned by resentment or wanting to do a revenge or some shit, I could attain financial success again reasonably quickly. But I won't have an empowered soul. I'll be resentful. I'll be angry. So after I'm clear and grounded and centered and grateful, I'll get to work and serving. Remember the order. Serve, save, invest, trade. For me personally, the best way that I know how to serve is to teach people the principles of wisdom. The principles that will allow them to empower their soul and their senses. So I would get to work to reach as many people around the planet as I possibly could. Teaching, sharing, inspiring, guiding. I'll be writing books. I'll be doing podcasts. I'll be making videos. I'll be authoring courses. And at the start, I will be living a very, very poorly life, a very low-key life. I will be stashing cash. Stash cash. Then I will be investing it. Then I will be speculating with it. And you still have the cutest girlfriend in the world. <laughs> Maybe you could employ me, babe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I would absolutely love the journey. I would uh, live in a cheap house or a free house. Mum and Dad would take me in, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll live with Mum and Dad. I'll drive a Toyota Corolla. And then when I got it all back again, I would write a frickin' book about how I did it. <laughs> riches to rags to riches again. Um, by the way, I'm having a little Pinot Grigio. Good tip, mum, on the Pinot Grigio. Golly gosh, they're good. I'm on the whites lately. They usually been reddos. Um, but to answer the question, to answer the question in one snap, it would be get grateful, serve, save, invest, trade. Love the journey. Gotta love the journey. Snap a good evening, what's going on? I want to say thank you for everyone here who helped with the legal thing today. I can't believe how many people, one, are lawyers, two, who know lawyers. <laughs> I had friends and housemates and fathers and brothers and family members and people all over the planet working on this case. We have come to a conclusion and as I suspected, a couple of lawyers have pointed out some of the mumbo jumbo, which was language that I didn't 
comprehend, didn't understand, and it does point out that I am in fact meant to have plates on the front. And the cop couldn't point out the legislation, the people at the transport office today, they couldn't point it out to me. No, they just kept saying it's the law, it's the law, it's the law, which it turns out that it is the law. But they couldn't point out the fucking thing. A couple of lawyers here could. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I love this community. It's a ridiculous community here. We got thousands of people watching this now, 50 different countries around the world, and I appreciate all the different skill sets and all the different comments. And while we're on the topic, I am selling a black plan beginning with a dirty old front number plate on it now. Who wants a fucking front number plate? Oh, golly gosh.